welcome to season three, episode two of Stable Talk. We have men's soccer, CJ Bateta and AJ Morales here today with us. Hey guys. Hello. We're gonna do we're gonna do some quick hey. trivia. We're gonna do some question and answer. Tell us where you guys are from, um, how long you've been playing soccer, how you ended up at Stevenson, all that fun stuff. Take it away, Jay. Oh, okay, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> So I was originally born in New York, uh, in Brooklyn, but then I moved to Lancaster County, PA when I was four. Um, and then that's pretty much when I started playing soccer. So I've been playing soccer since I was four years old. And how I found Stevenson, I always had the plans of playing college soccer, but I hurt myself junior year. So I didn't really look at that many schools. So then summer going into my senior year, I played at some random tournament and then I got an email from Stevenson because I'd never even heard of it. I uh, got in touch with Graham and the other coaches, and then it sort of just like went from there. It was kind of just a perfect match, and now I'm here. Thanks. Love you, CJ. Love that. Love that. Love that. Uh, well, I'm like I'm originally from Miami. Um, <clears throat> born and raised. I started playing when I was around ten. Like I started playing like serious, like travel, and as time went on. Um, I ended up coming to Maryland when I was about 15. So after my freshman year of high school, I came up here pretty much just to pursue uh, soccer in college. Just the opportunities were a lot better up here. Mm -hmm. So that's how I found myself in the Maryland scene. Um, just looking at a couple of different schools, playing with a couple of different clubs in the area. And I was at uh, one of my high school games and then um, the former coach, Andrew uh, Bordelon, emailed me and that's how I got in touch with him. And that's, how where I am right now so what position and majors are you guys um I'm a center defensive mid or center mid and I'm also a bio major nice I'm an outside back I'm a marketing major with a minor in coding and software design nice so since the pandemic started what has been each of your guys's favorite activity or trip or whatever that you guys have done that like you normally wouldn't have done if the pandemic hadn't happened um i don't know if i would say that it's something that i wouldn't normally do one of the activities that i've really gotten into like my family and i obviously with quarantine and all have been mm -hmm. spending a lot of time together so we have like a lot of campfires in the backyard nice. um nice. so that's one thing and also i was fortunate enough to have an uncle that was getting rid of like a weightlifting set so like i usually work out but now with gyms being closed, I got really lucky that I got this weightlifting set in my basement. So I've been doing that all the quarantine. Pretty much. So campfires and working out. Campfires <laughs> and working out. Yeah. Two of the best <laughs> things. Right, right. Two of the best things right there. <laughs> uh, pretty much early early months. Um, a lot of spending time with the family. So a lot of things he did was uh, like building puzzles. So I have two, uh, like two younger siblings under the age of eight in my house. So it's a lot of... Uh, trying to keep them entertained and they're really energetic so we just take them outside play with them um other than that i was very fortunate enough to see a lot of people uh, i hadn't seen since high school so i got to hang out with a very small group of like really close friends mm -hmm. so that was really nice um what two, puzzles, that, what two puzzles did you make what two what oh okay so <laughs> They really love Disney, so we made a couple different like Pixar puzzles. So one was uh, a Coco puzzle. Um, Good move. Another one was a Toy Story puzzle. We made we made a Jumanji puzzle. How many? We made a couple different ones. How many? Uh, how many pieces do you guys get? My mom tries to do them, but she tries to get like uh, a thousand plus pieces. Yeah, yeah. That, that is that is advanced. I keep we keep it like simple. We keep it like around three hundred or one hundred pieces, just so yeah. it's it's easy to do like in one night mm -hmm. or one sitting. If you get like a thousand, I don't know if we can. Yeah, she just yeah. Leaves, she just, she'll just leave it in the living room. And it'll be a week. Just leaves it. Yeah, it's like a, yeah, it's a a lengthy process. I've I've heard there's like um two thousand and three thousand pieces out there. What did you guys have to adapt first, uh, going to school in Maryland? Or what were you guys, anything stick out about living in Maryland now, food or culture-wise? Um, maybe a little bit of culture. 
uh, a lot of the guys on the team actually happened to go to like the same high school. Mm -hmm. uh, so they were all sort of like tight knit when I got here. And also like the lingo, you know, with slang and all, uh, yeah. definitely a little bit different than Lancaster County. Uh, so <laughs> I had to learn a little bit of the language. So that's something that I had to adapt to. But other than that, like the food's great. I mean, we have a lot of options really close to campus, so I can't really be too big of a complaint I have, but yeah, I love it all. What's some of the slang that you've noticed? Um, so like, oh boy, I don't even know what to say. So, <laughs> one, so okay, so I learned, I don't know if this is even, I don't know where this is from, but the one kid on the team uses the term brick uh, in reference to like a long period of time. So like, oh, I haven't played soccer in a brick. I've <laughs> never heard that. <laughs> like a brick, That's one thing. I've heard it. Yeah, right. And then also, like, I never heard it before, at least from where I was from. But like, the the, the term "dummy" is just like casual. Like, you call your friend a dummy. Like, <laughs> like oh, what's yeah. up, dummy? Like, it's not like a bad thing. It's just like what you say. <laughs> dummy. That's yeah. another thing. Dummies, dummies, a big one dummies that I picked up on. I kind of love it. It always makes me laugh. But yeah, good positive. Yeah, you're always, you're always saying something. Oh, another another big thing. Um. If you're if you're just from I I didn't know this until I like kind of moved up here and like started hanging around a lot more people from Baltimore mm -hmm. is how they pronounce some of their words. Mm -hmm. So like say the word two, sometimes yes, my guys on the team say like two, and so on and like so on and so forth. So that's like a really big thing that was uh, different when I came up here. Mm -hmm. Another big thing that I that I really like realized that I had never experienced was the weather. Oh, free, like, absolutely, just, like, the winter time and, like, oh, fall, yeah. like, seeing, like, the leaves fall and stuff, like, just, like, the, the changing of the seasons was really new to me at first, and yeah. I, I, like, I love it now, but at first, like, when it was really cold, I didn't like it, just because I was absolutely freezing. <laughs> we haven't had a cold winter in, like, two or three years, I Oh, like. yeah, it's been, it's, it's, it's been a while. Yeah. So, our first segment is going to be Would You Rather... So our first one is, would you rather eat a jar of mayo or um, a cup of hot sauce? Oh, man. <laughs> That's hot sauce any day of the week. Hot sauce, Just yeah. Just get it down. Yeah. I'm not eating yeah, like, a spoon and mayo in my <laughs> mouth. That's a no-go. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank, no, thank you. I'll take the hot sauce. That's what yeah, I did. Yeah, for sure. Really mayo is mayo disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Just I, gross. I don't think I'd be able to eat it, honestly. Really? You can not get a whole, one down. Not a whole cup of hot sauce, maybe like. No, what's a cup? Are we talking uh, like. Like, a um, little, like a yeah, yeah. Are we talking like a, a, a cup where you would like put ketchup in at like a. Tub? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Like yeah, shot of hot sauce. I was thinking like solo cup. Shot of hot sauce. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> down the hatch. All right. <laughs> would you rather live on a boat for the rest of your life or an RV for the rest of your life? Oh. I would know. say, I would say live on a boat. I feel like I'd be able to travel the world. Yeah. Right? That, was, that boat. was my answer if, if at first, big too, but then I was like, what, like, doesn't the sea get really rough? <laughs> they can, they can. Yeah. I'd definitely choose RV. Like, you can drive anywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, like, the sea, like, I feel like water is water anywhere, so if I'm living on the ocean, like, yeah. it all looks the same unless you're going to, like, some cross ocean journeys i'd rather just drive yeah. across the country and like stop it all That's in that like, right? i mean i guess but i'd rather be on land so i'm not rocking all the time <laughs> it's seasick well what if what if you're stuck in like a place you don't want to be with the rv you know what i mean i drive somewhere else <laughs> no way also yeah like, on the boat for boat the rest of my boat. life no way yeah. boat is rough yeah, for the rest of my life. No more, way. more risk of death in the boat, I feel like. Also, yeah. eating is hard. Like, you got to fish. Like, am I allowed to leave the boat? Or am I just, like, living on it? You're, you're, you can, dock, you're living you on can it. dock your you can boat dock. on a coastline. So, okay. Okay. You can dock and you can get off and go walk around. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You just got to sleep on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, would you rather never use social media again or no, never watch another TV show or movie ever again? Wow, that's a thinker. I can go without social media. However, like, not, not being able to watch a movie or show, 
That's yeah. a tough one. I, I, I enjoy watching movies. I enjoy like watching diff- different TV shows. Social media, I, personally, I can live without it. Yeah. Um, I think I could live without it. It's just like being so detached from everybody else. I feel like everything is so social media oriented. So I just have like a harder time getting information than everybody else. But uh, I love movies and TV. So I might just have to go without the social media. Also, I feel like it's healthier too. So like, it is definitely yeah. that yeah. option. Definitely. Sure. Definitely. 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 All right, last one. Would you rather look like a fish or smell like a fish? <laughs> <laughs> Did I write this one? Oh my god. I assume. I, assume. I don't remember bad. writing this question. Fish smells bad. I don't think I could, I mean, I'll just take the, I'll take the L and just look like a fish. I'm not trying <laughs> to smell like that. At least you could smell good if you look ugly, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you look like a fish, yeah. I could do other yeah. things to make me look better. What, now what kind of fish am I looking like? Yeah, yeah, that's important too. Like, this is like this is important. A, like a sunfish trout. I don't know. Normal eyes are on the side of your head. Fish. Oh God! Nice <laughs> average lake fish. Just but you could get like really like ripped that. and like smell good, and then you just look really ugly. But you have everything else good about you. But if you smell like a fish, like there's nothing you can do about that. Yeah, like there's makeup and. Right. Oh yeah. I don't know if makeup true. can fix eyes on the side of the face though. <laughs> like, <laughs> if you look yeah. like this guy. Got some eyeliner gun. Like, oh yeah. Oh, could you? Oh yeah. That's just. Would I be like skin colored? Like, would I still have this skin tone, or would I be that color of fish? Like, would I'm up for interpretation. Okay. That's rough. That's diabolical. I or guess. Like, I guess I look like a fish. This. This really attractive one. Ay, ay, ay. That's, that's I just, oh <laughs> yeah, I'm still picking looking like that. <laughs> yeah, because like people don't, some people don't care what you look like, but if you smell, it's really hard to hang out. Right, with. right. It's about what's on the yeah, inside. People, not what, yeah, it's about what's on the inside. Exactly. Yes. I would, that's I would bring in lesson. like, I would bring in salmon and broccoli to the office, and Macy would get really upset. So. <laughs> he would. <laughs> She wasn't I'm like, it. you're really about to eat fish in a room of six people. <laughs> <laughs> Quality meal, though. Yeah. yeah. Quality meal. It is a good meal. It's a good meal. All right, team superlatives. So this could be player, coach. Oh, yeah. Player, and coach, fun. trainer, whoever. Um, most likely to be our next president. <laughs> um... Who's most likely her would I love to be the next president? Like, I think I'd put Dylan Hall. I put characteristics to run for president, go through the whole thing, and can like rule our country. Rule it. I don't know if anybody has like the (laughs) will to do all that work, but if I were to put somebody in office, definitely Dylan Holy. He's so calm and just like I would just feel so comfortable having him in office. Like, he just like. So unbiased, very logical. I just think he's a great option. Okay. But I don't think he would go all through that effort to make it a kid. <laughs> I don't think so. Either. Definitely. I think my I think I think my choice would be um uh Matt Stelcano. Mm. I think uh just being our just being the keep our keeper, just looking just the way he analyzes mm. stuff and that's a good point. And he's uh, just being one of the captains, he just has a, a control uh over the game and overall, so that's that's my my choice. That that is a very good, yeah, I agree, definitely. Most likely to go viral, like, like <laughs> think of like, okay, it's, like, uh, like, uh, it's like 2011 uh, and like, Vine is still a thing. Oh, okay. who's most likely to pop up online? I think Cruz any day of the week. <laughs> Ryan Cruz. If it's if it's Vine, I think yeah. Ryan Cruz could put something on social media like that yeah. to go viral. Like that, <laughs> and he's like the most unique person you ever meet. Um, crazy. So yeah, definitely him. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it to Dominic Solano. Oh, true. That guy's a goofball. Why? Dom Dom has done some. We just we just there we have. I'm not gonna get into it, but we've seen <laughs> some questions. Well. Okay. That's very that's very that's very that's very that's very, very funny. I think that would go very viral. Okay. That's my choice. Mm. Okay, who's most likely to be a millionaire post graduation? I don't know. Like, 
there's different ways to become a millionaire. Like you could win the lottery. Like some guy. Right, let's, say, let's say millionaire by thirty, though. Okay. Billionaire, billionaire. There's so billionaire. many millionaires. Billionaire. So there's so many millionaires. Billionaires, billionaires, billionaires less common. Billionaire I'd love to be one. I know. <laughs> by age thirty. <laughs> I would love um, to be one too. Yeah, <laughs> Forbes thirty under thirty. I guess they got like crazy. Dude, that's a tough that, one. That is- that Tar- is a maybe Tart? No. Either you're gonna give it to yourself. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be yourself? broke. I'm gonna be broke when I'm like 28. I'm going to medical school, so I'll just be in student debt. Like it's gonna be rough. <laughs> so it can't be me. I'll, I'll be making money by 30, hopefully. That's the goal. Like it's but um, um I, I would say, CJ, you're a finance man, right? You can do it. Yeah, yeah you're very smart with your money. You're mature. Oh, you're, you're responsible. Yes, CJ. Yeah. You're coding. You can. I give CJ. Like- the next okay. big app. My yeah. Idea. I mean, I got, a tech I mean, got ideas. I got ideas in the back of my mm-hmm. head. Okay. He, doesn't, he doesn't want to spoil it. Yeah, right. He doesn't yeah, want to get gonna, it. We can't, we, we, can't, we can't jinx it. We can't jinx it. You know, you know who would be, I, I think, would be very, very successful, very wealthy? Would, I think Tark would be. Oh, just because yeah. he is uh, he is a he is a computer science major, so okay. he's really into that stuff, and he's very smart, and he knows what he's doing. So I think that would be my my nominee for the you sequel, need that the stealthy entrepreneurship mindset. Indeed. Yeah, All right. Yeah, exactly. Best or biggest bromance on the team? <laughs> mm. Like I think bromance can be expanded into like a slightly broader term. Uh, so like not just two guys because typically like me, if you see me somewhere, uh, you're you're probably gonna find one of my like four of the roommates or three of the roommates, Drew, Dale, or Sean. So like I think that's probably a pretty good bromance. Like we're always together, especially now that we live together and even on campus. What's your biggest? What is like the biggest bromance moment between the three of you guys? <laughs> that's like funny oh you guys have a couple that's a, there's a lot um, <laughs> it's like so hard to pick guys. but um wait you, here cj you do your answer i'll think of a moment to... i would say I, i'm gonna give this one to me and jevin me like me and jevin we're always uh we went to high school together so like we're always together oh, okay. we're always we're always picking at each other we're always <laughs> we're always fighting with each other at some point we like to egg each other <laughs> um, and these guys know so i get to be Jeff. oh okay a uh, bromance moment got yeah, one sorry. so uh last spring we all lived in wooded way together so yeah. there, um six of you guys right well no it was like okay so it was a, a good setup well questionable but <laughs> it was like it was four <laughs> soccer players and one random in one room and then directly across the hall was another five soccer players so it was kind of like essentially a nine man room at most points. Uh, mm-hmm. So like some of the bromance moments would be like, we'd have sleepovers, Freak. right? Freak. Okay. <laughs> Where sleepovers as in like all of us load our beds into one room and watch a movie and then everyone just passes out in the same room. So like a sleepover, but it's a little like a room over. <laughs> those, are, those are pretty fun. Okay. Um, who is the most accident prone? Mm. Or injury that one. Prone. Accident prone or injury prone? Yeah. Um, accident or I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna have to give it to Cruz, unfortunately. Yeah. (laughs) Oh yeah. Poor guy. guy. Yes, definitely Ryan Cruz. Poor guy has been it. Has been so a little bit like little story for you guys. Um, he had dislocated his shoulder, and after going to rehab, etc., he started to get like back into um like lifting with us, uh, et cetera. So like the first day he was back lifting with us, we were doing um, uh, like, a, like a prehab exercise just to get our muscles warmed up and stuff. So it was with like one of the red bands and you just have to like, it's pretty much like stretching it out and stuff. Mm-hmm. And he does it, he does it again and his shoulder just pops, just pops out. Yeah. <laughs> So it, was, it was it's it's just unfortunate he was uh, he's just always in, in the training oh. for something poor guy he can never catch a break so that was also after the first been. day of preseason where he blew out his shoulder in the first season like the first practice too like wasn't that the first practice yeah it was like when we got yeah, back he got was, hurt and then as soon as he got back he did the next one with the band like it was two times in a row there's that always one on each team yeah. yeah you can't catch a break no we're gonna move into some q a here all right, start you off easy. Favorite soccer player of all time? 
Um, mine would definitely have to be Thierry Henry. Uh, he's a French soccer player who retired a couple of years ago. Uh, he played it for Arsenal for a long time, so he he was really good there. But that's not really when I was, I wasn't really watching soccer when I was younger like that. But once I got older, I got into watching like a lot of his clips and stuff. He's just like super classy player. He now coaches actually. Um, so I just really like the way he plays. Love his number fourteen, my favorite number. So then, that's my favorite player. Yeah, my uh, my player is uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. That's mm. uh, that's he's like he, he's the reason. Like when I started watching soccer a lot, um, like Manchester United, he was a big influence. Like I would get his hairstyles. I would try to get the same crease he had. Uh, so definitely, he was a big influence. Um, and just the way he plays, I, I really enjoy watching him. And just his his hunger and motivation when he's when he's on the field and just trying to make his team better around him. So that's my pick. What about uh, what about you, AJ? Ronaldo or Messi? Um, I would have to pick Messi personally. I just like I like the way he carries himself more on the field, just as like a leader. Yeah. And also, I just like his play style more. I think he's a little less flash, a little more class. Um. And Ronaldo is kind of the opposite of that. But also, they're, I mean, obviously, they're both great players. Yeah. And it's hard to, like, pick one over the other. So, one has a good season, the other one doesn't. And then it's, like, reverse. But if I had to pick between the two, it'd definitely be messy. Okay, if you could have any exotic pet in the world, what would it be? Like, no dogs or cats, <laughs> rabbit, or any of that. Like, an exotic animal. And um, if, if it wasn't ethically wrong either, if any like, any something. <laughs> Sometimes there's ethical issues when people try to get like pet wolves and stuff. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, this was like kind of easy for me, honestly. So like, do you guys know who Sway Lee is? He's like yeah. from Race Tremor, the rap. Yeah, he has like yeah. I don't know if it's like a lemur or like some like little monkey thing, but I would love to have like a pet monkey because they're like one monkeys are super smart, so they can be really personable. Mm-hmm. Two, they have like hands and they do all their own stuff. They're like mini humans. Uh, so I, I just think it's like, super cute, a lot of fun. I remember in elementary school, I used to like ask my mom for a pet monkey yeah, all the time. Perfect. They're sweet. Anytime I hear I like decorated yeah. with stuff with monkeys. <laughs> Anytime I think about a monkey, I think about the one from uh, like the museum, who's like peeing on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. great movie. Yeah. What would you um, see? If I'm gonna have well. I kind of already, it's not an exotic pet, but it's like, oh, not an, I have a lizard, so I have a, he's a Chinese <laughs> water dragon, his name, his name, his name is Yoshi, he's my little man, oh. but if I, if I would, I would really love to have an iguana, I think that's my, yeah. is if it, I'd have to choose people one. Get, people get pet iguanas, don't they, or do they not? Yeah, hmm? yeah. Is it, is no, it iguanas they do. I've seen or them. lizards that the, the tail can like fall off and then it grows right back? So it depends. And so, like some reptiles do it. My 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 little guy doesn't, but there are some uh, like like geckos or different types of small lizards that where the tail just comes off. Which one, which one changes color? Is that an iguana or chameleon? That's a chameleon. Yeah. 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 Or a gecko. They change. They change their colors and they show like their mood mm. through their colors. It's really cool. All right favorite soccer team of all time so i guess franchise or just like maybe one year of a specific team whichever route you want to go dj go ahead bud uh, my favorite club is pretty basic but it's real madrid um los blancos i think the all time real or any specific years no just well just like as a club in a whole yeah. but like when i really started to get into them uh like when the past like within the past decade and just uh, the run we had from, I think it was 2014 to 2017, just winning three Champions League in a row. It's like arguably like the greatest team of all time, in my opinion. I just watching them, and when you, we went to Spain uh, a year ago, and we got to like watch, we got to like go to the field and walk down to the tunnel and stuff, and just seeing the stadium for the first time was a really special moment for me personally. So that was really fun. That's my team. Um, so I think it's a good thing that you said like years and stuff. So growing up, I was like a Barcelona fan because my dad, pretty much the exact exact opposite of CJ. But uh, my dad watched a lot of Barcelona games when I was growing up. So that's kind of what I did with him. 
so that's how I learned to love Messi and just like soccer in general. And then as I got older and got more into soccer, like I said, my favorite player, player is Thierry Henry. So as he was getting older, he actually transferred over to the MLS, which is the professional soccer league in the United States. Not as great of a soccer league, but I'd like, one was born in New York, one uh, Thierry Henry transferred to the New York Red Bulls, three really liked their jerseys and like their sweatshirts and stuff. So I kind of just like transferred over to follow my favorite player. And I consider myself a Red Bulls fan. I don't really watch that much MLS because it's, I mean, it's all right. But um, I just love mainly Thierry Henry and the Red Bulls in Barcelona, I guess. So I'm not really too invested in any team specifically. Before we move on, do you guys have any good or funny stories from Spain that you guys want to tell the podcast? The whole yeah. soccer team went to Spain. Um, what was our – wait, CJ, what was our uh, tour guide's name? No, Fernando. Fernando. Okay, Fernando. so – so Fernando, right, he's like, when you go on his international trip, I don't know if you guys have been on them, like you have like an assigned like tour guide for the like your whole trip, or at least we did. So this guy's name was Fernando. Funny guy, right? Um, we came up with a whole bunch of nicknames, a um, whole bunch of nicknames for him over the course of the trip, one of them being Fabrizio, one of them being Ferdinand, <laughs> like there was all these different nicknames, right? So the most, like, the funny thing that he would always do is one, we were always exhausted because, you know, like the time difference and also we we're playing soccer, hanging out, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, whenever we take a rest stop or like a break at some like tour we were taking, he would always tell us we have like, so we'd go on the tour, right? And you're supposed to have a sign <laughs> free time. And after we'd go through the tour and the like the scheduled activities, you're supposed to have like 30 to 40 minutes or like maybe an hour of free time, but it always ended up that it was running late. So Ferdinand, <laughs> Fabrizio, um, Fernando, would go, all right, guys, you got, like, two minutes of free time. So, like, that was kind of like, <laughs> a joke of the entire trip because what are you supposed to do in the two minutes uh, that you have for free time? Like, we need you back in ten minutes. Uh, you got free time now. So, it was just that kind of thing. Always had us laughing, but yes. That's actually really funny. <laughs> so, we're going to do some trivia. Just men's soccer trivia and Stevenson trivia. How many years has Graham been at Stevenson? Oh, um, <laughs> more than my life. The guy's been there for... <laughs> at Stevenson gonna, or I'm, as a coach? At no, at Stevenson. Oh, coach. boy. I guys knew. Agent. Um, I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll, say, dude, well is it really that I'm long? Say, I'm going to say 13. Oh. That's right. Yeah, that's All right. right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> nice job. He's got oh, major no. brownie points with Graham. Sweet. I'm impressed when we ask that question, no one ever gets anywhere. Like a question similar yeah. to that, no one ever gets anywhere near. <laughs> a lucky who, guess, I guess. Who were yeah. the top three scorers for the men's Stevenson 2019 soccer team? Oof. 2019? Um, so not. Yeah, top three. Oh, that was this past season? Yeah, top three in goals. Yeah. I've I know. Um, it was, one was Jay. Yeah, one was, was number one. The second one was um. I guess I don't remember. I know I'm one of the three. I think, but I don't remember if I'm two or three. No, I, what, I was think, it Tark? Think, yeah, Tark. It Tark yeah. So it's one J, two Tark, three me. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys Two for two. Thank you. Okay, who are the top three goal scorers in the U.S. men's soccer national team history? Mm. Oh, um, I know one. Donovan, right? Donovan, Lennon Donovan. Donovan. Yes, sir. Donovan's two. Two. Clint Dempsey. Clint Dempsey's one. I was going to guess, yeah. Good one, too. Um, Josie Altidore, maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're on a roll, baby. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm gonna throw in a Wait, bonus. Oh, yeah, bonus. So I actually, I guess Clint and Landon finished with the same exact amount of goals. That's crazy. You have a guess That's nuts. of oh, how yeah. it would be. To put it in perspective, Altidore at 42. <laughs> um, ooh, Wait, you're asking us how many they have? Yeah, how many yeah, goals Clint they tied? They tied for all-time goals, I guess. I got my guess. Are we guessing separate or together, CJ? What? We can go separate. We can go separate. He, he just said that he had 42. Why would it be 100? 100 no way Donovan scored 100 goals for the international team. I'm saying it's like 54. Dude. How much was it? 
Fifty-two. Oh, oh wait, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Oh yeah, fifty-seven. That was close. That was you were really close. close. That was really good. Okay, I have one more You're that I'm throwing in right close. now. What was your assistant coach Bill's number at UMBC? <laughs> oh, this is a hard one. But he's a center back, right? What's the what's the center back number? Uh, like. Five, like 18. That's not, that's not my guess. That's not my guess. I don't I'm know. No, what's a, what, center backs have lower high numbers, or does it not matter? I think people just, like, don't care. I don't know. I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess and say his number was 23. I'll go with that. Sure, I'll put my money on CJ. It's three. It was three. 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 I'm going to have to take that up with Bill. Yeah. Three. We should get Bill's a, a quiet man. Uh, we were close. Yeah. Not really. Three. There's a three, three in there. You take the two out of it, and then you have it. <laughs> yeah. You guys did really good on trivia, actually. Thank you. Yeah. Women's most, soccer last week did <laughs> not do so good. Most people don't even want to so. A little suspect. <laughs> but yeah, thanks um, again for. Yeah, yeah, that's about all we have for today. Awesome. We always end it as um, what do we usually say? Oh. Uh, if you want to give a shout out, your um, shout out to anyone, to your mom, your mom, your dad. Uh, um, shout out to Janine Morales, my mom. Uh, shout out to Drew, Dale, Sean, and Cruz, the roomies. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. <laughs> um, shout out my parents, much love. Um, shout out my roomies, uh, Eric, Jay, Dylan, uh, Jevin, um, all the boys watching. Uh, the boys. Yeah, shout, shout out Yoshi. the coach. Shout out Yoshi. <laughs> shout out um, shout Big out Bill. Big, big Billy holding it down. Number three. <laughs> Number three. Um, shout, out, shout, out, shout out to Grand Millar. Just being grand. Shout out to Musty. <laughs> big Musty. We didn't forget about you. Uh, coach Jim. Uh, and shout out to all the boys coming in. The freshmen. It's going to be fun. You're going to get everyone back together. So yes, sir. I hope it's a good one. Great one. All right. Well, we will.